So hi guys, this is SJ speaking and in today's video we're going to see about uh, what is bank rate. So before going to the video, I'm personally teaching trading. So if you want to learn trading from me, you can contact me from the number below. I'm taking seven courses which consist of technical analysis, price action and another strategy which is known as master strategy and the fundamental analysis too. You can get separately these courses or you can also get them all of them in one package. So totally there are seven courses. You can enroll in any, any one of the seven courses if you are interested. So now let's go into the video. So what is bank rate? So uh, uh, previously I have posted videos regarding repo rate and uh, reverse repo rate. So if you didn't watch, you can watch those videos. So bank rate is also decided by the nation's central bank. So it is one of the monetary uh, in the monetary policy meets uh, these uh, rates are decided. So what is the bank rate? So definition is that bank rate is the interest rate at which the nation's central bank lends money to the commercial banks without receiving any collateral from them. So the difference between the repo rate and bank rate is that so both in both the cases the nation's central bank gives money to the commercial banks but in the repo rate the uh, collateral is given that is securities are given by the commercial banks to the RBA in the agreement that they will be repurchased but whereas in a bank rate uh, in this process there is no any collateral involved. So you might wonder what is the guarantee that the nation's central bank get? What if the commercial bank defaults on uh, repaying the money? So uh, if I explain deeply about the bank rate, you might get the answer, which I will explain later in this video itself. So now let's see. Um, the bank rate is also known as discount rate. So the discount rate means it is the discount rate of the nation's central bank, the central bank's discount rate. That is, in case of India, the RBI's discount rate. That is known as the uh, bank rate. So, the lending can be for short term as well as for long term. But usually, bank rate means it's for long term. But it can also be as well as for short term. So, such as repo rate, bank rate is also used in controlling the money supply in a nation's economy. So, bank rate, uh, who decides the bank rate? It, decide, it is decided by the nation's central bank on the monetary policy meet. In case of India, the Reserve Bank of India decides the bank rate on the monetary policy meet. So, let's see what is bank rate. So, before uh, let, knowing about the bank rate, let's see what is bills of exchange. So, bills of exchange. So, bills of exchange is one of the negotiable instruments such as checks. So, such as checks, this is also one of the negotiable instruments. In the Negotiable Instruments Act 1881, this Bills of Exchange came into play. So, I will bring a separate video regarding Bills of Exchange. But uh, for, in, for you to know about the bank rate, you need to know about this uh, Bills of Exchange. So, I will explain uh, shortly uh, what is Bills of Exchange. Suppose there is a buyer here. So, this buyer needs goods worth 10,000 rupees. He needs worth good, but he doesn't have the money now. So, he is asking the seller to give the goods in credit. So, he is asking to give the goods in credit. But the seller is asking the buyer, what is the guarantee that you will repay the money to me? What you will pay the money? So, the buyer is asking a time of uh, three months. After three months, I will pay the amount. What is the guarantee that you will pay back the money? So, the buyer is telling uh, you file a legal document by taking a white paper. So, the seller takes a white paper and he draws, uh, that is the bills of exchange. So that is known as the bills of exchange. So he draws, uh, uh, he is ordering the buyer to pay uh, the 10,000 rupees. After three months, the buyer have to pay me 10,000 month. And uh, the seller signs and he puts a stamp, a revenue stamp. And the buyer, it gives to the buyer. The buyer receives it and he also signs and he is writing as accepted. Only when the buyer uh, writes it as accepted, this is a legal document. If the buyer does not accept, it is not uh, a legal document. It is not a bill of ex legal bill of exchange. So the buyer is accepted. So the seller is known as since he is uh, drawing the bill, he is known as the drawer, drawer of the bill. He is known as the drawer, whereas the buyer is known as the drawee. So or you can say it as acceptor. So uh, who? The seller is also known as the payee. So the uh, buyer is known as the payer. So since he has to pay the amount, he is known as payer. Payer. Payer of the amount. So he is known as the payee of the amount. So who is receiving the amount? He is known as the payee. So this payee 
can also be transferred i will explain uh, in I'll explain dp suppose uh, today is uh, march 26 so today is march uh, 26 sunday so march 26 3 months means uh, april may june june 26 is the maturity period of the bills of exchange when june 26 comes the buyer will pay the amount to the seller 10000 rupees if the buyer defaults then the seller can uh, use this bills of exchange and take legal action on the buyer. So, this is the process. Suppose if the seller needs money before the maturity date of the bill, he needs urgently the 10,000 rupees, the seller will sell that. He sells the bill of exchange to the bank and receives that uh, money from the bank. But the bank would not pay the entire 10,000 rupees. The bank would put an interest for 10 months. 3 months means... Uh, uh, depending upon the number of months, uh, it will uh, charge the interest. Suppose uh, seller immediately sells the amount means uh, uh, for three months means suppose the what is happening is that the bank is discounting the bills of exchange. The bank is discounting. So this is known as the discount rate. So uh, discount rate is five percentage. So three into three months means three or one month means uh, just five percentage. So three months means fifteen percentage. So, 15% of 10,000 means 8,500. So, the seller receives only 8,500 rupees. If he immediately needs the money, the bank gives the 8,500. It has the bills of exchange. Now, the bank is the new payee. So, the bank collects the amount from the drawee. That is the buyer. So, buyer is the drawee. The bank collects the bill after the maturity date. Uh, but if the drawer defaults, sorry drawee if the buyer defaults means then the bank will approach the seller and get the money if the buyer um, after the maturity date the bank approaches the buyer and receives the money but if the buyer defaults on its payments then the bank would uh, uh, go to the seller that is the drawer of the bill and receives the money so this is what the process takes place but what if the banker needs the amount immediately so, banker itself, he needs the amount immediately means he will approach the RBI and RBI will re-discount. He sells the bill of exchange to the RBI and RBI will re-discount the bills of exchange. So, already the bills of exchange is discounted. Again, the RBI will re-discount it. This re-discounting rate is known as the bank rate. So, this will usually be less than the discount rate of the bank. So, suppose this is 3 rate mean, uh, depending upon the bank rate only, the bank provides the discount rate to the seller. So, suppose this is 3 percentage means for 3 months means 9 percentage. So, this discount rate is based upon this 10,000 only and not this 8,500. So, this has no uh, relation to the uh, RBI. So, bank will uh, discount it based upon this 10,000. So, uh, taking this 900 rupees, this is the profit for the RBI. The remaining 9,100 is given. And uh, the seller got the uh, 8,500 rupees, the remaining 600. So, this is the profit for the bank. So, however, the bank makes a profit out of it. So, the profit for the bank is 600 and profit for the RBI is 900. So, these are the rates, interest rates charged basically. So, now they uh, finally, who has the bills of exchange? The RBI has the bills of exchange. So, if the RBI collects, the buyer has to pay the amount to the RBI. So, because he is the drawee, but suppose if he defaults, if the bill is dishonored, if the bills of exchange is dishonored means, then the RBI collects the money from the drawer. That is uh, who? In this, uh, sorry, the RBI collects the money from the bank. So, from the bank, it collects the money from the bank. So, this is what happens. So, this is the process that takes place. Uh, and suppose if the bank rate increases, that is the... If the RBI discount rate increases means if the RBI uh, increases the bank rate uh, in this example I have said 3 percentage. If this itself is 5 percentage means and the bank discount rate is same as 5 percentage means there is no profit for the bank. So the bank will increase it to 8 percentage or 7.5 percentage. So uh, what usually happens? So if the seller wants the money from the bank he might uh, actually avoid it since the interest rate discount rate is so high this is very much loss for him so he might wait till uh, three months and the buyer would self directly pay the amount to the seller the entire 10000 rupees so this is the uh, this is so suppose if the rates increase 
uh, the seller does not get the money. So the seller, why he needs the money urgently for improving his business? He has to, he does this money and he can do anything else. For example, for growth of his business, for expansion of his business, whatever he does. So if it doesn't happen, means uh, uh, the growth stabilizes. There is a decrease in the growth. And suppose that nation's economy has inflation, the prices on goods and service are drastically in a high amount means. So this can be reduced. So the bank rate, if the bank rate increases means the inflation can be reduced. Similarly for deflation, by decreasing the bank rate, uh, the, the seller can easily get the money from the bank at a low discount rate. So the seller can use that money and improve his business and the money supply starts to increase. So this is the opposite scenario in case of deflation. If the deflation occurs, the decrease in bank rates happen and uh, the money supply is increasing. So this is how the money uh, uh, money supply can be controlled by uh, bank rate too. So you might wonder, so the bank rate, uh, no collateral is given. What is the guarantee for the central bank? The central bank has the bills of exchange in them. So suppose if the, the some the member the party which has to pay the amount if he defaults means if the bill is dishonored means then the central bank can approach the commercial bank and uh, get the money from them if the commercial banks refuse to pay the amount they can take legal action by uh, since they are having the bill of exchange they can take legal actions against the commercial banks so that is why uh, even without the collateral uh, this bank rate is given so now you got a good clarification since the central bank has the bills of exchange at their hand uh, they have a leverage. So this is the thing. So hope you got a good clarification about what bank rate is. Uh, so if you like the video, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so you get notified for the, my videos. Apart from that, if you want to uh, learn trading from me, you can contact me. Uh, I'm taking courses. There are seven courses. You can enroll in any, any one of them. It will be useful for you guys. And apart from them, uh, if you want to open a trading or DMAT account, I have given you a link on the video description below on all my YouTube videos. You can open from them. So apart from them, if you want to listen to my videos on Tamil, there is another channel, SJS Trading School Tamil. So you can listen to my videos on Tamil language. If you are uh, eager to watch it on, listen to it on Tamil language. So thank you guys. I will visit you on my next video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.